Hi art friends! In this video, I wanted to share with you an awesome art event that I got to participate in this weekend. It was so much fun. It is called the Flux Arts Festival and it took place here where I live in Panama City. There were tons of activities like a farmer's market, but the part that I loved the best was getting to be one of the artists who did the chalk art on the sidewalk. This style of art is kind of a fun, temporary type of art. It's also called street painting. And it basically involves artists using sidewalk chalk or chalk pastels to create a temporary drawing on the sidewalk. So like I said, it's tons of fun and it's really neat getting to interact with the community and meet new artists. That was my favorite part. So I've done two of these before in St. Augustine. This is my first chalk drawing that I did of Captain Mayhem, who is a pirate. And then my second design is Ponce de Leon for St. Augustine's 450th birthday. For this design, I wanted, I was thinking first of doing a dolphin or maybe a mermaid or something related to the ocean since the beaches here are famous for their beauty and popularity. So I created this large scale sketch of a dolphin first using pencil and a grid and of course chalk pastels. The drawing turned out amazing, but as it got closer to the actual time for the um, chalk festival or the, the art festival, I ended up kind of changing my mind and deciding on a different subject. So I love portraits and I changed my design last minute just the night before to this close up portrait of Aphrodite by the famous artist Sandro Botticelli. The title of the, the whole painting is The Birth of Venus and of course like I said I did a close up version of just Venus or the goddess of love. And I, once I got that ready, I printed out a black and white copy and also a color copy of the photo. The whole event was organized by the Center for the Arts. So they had an application process and once your application was accepted, you can let them know what size of space. I chose to do a three by five space. So that meant I had to do a little bit of math so that I could create a grid to make sure that my drawing was proportionally accurate. So this took a little bit of time setting up the grid. I ended up having to do six inches by six inch squares. Um, but once the grid was done and ready, then the drawing part was pretty easy. The art festival started at 8 a.m. in the morning and you had to be finished with your design by one. So I got there as close as I could to 8 a.m. I unpacked all of my stuff, including sunscreen, hat, water, and they supplied us with some chalk pastels, but I also brought a lot of my own and I brought gloves. So here we are starting our design and I met an awesome artist right next to me named Ann Thrift. She has a show that's on display in the Center for the Arts and it was just so inspiring to get to talk and work alongside other artists. On the other side of me was actually the instructor of, for art at the Gulf Coast State College and she had her students working on a similar design but they were priming their spot using tempera paint first. Well, I thought, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? That's genius. So she kindly let me borrow some of her tempera paint, which is um, a paint that's water-based and washes off really easily. So I had already done my grid. I wasn't gonna prime and then do the grid all over again. So what I did was just take the tempera paint and kind of mix it with the chalk as I went. Now it got really hot outside and pretty sunny. So the tempera paint dried fairly fast and then I could start building up the layers of color and adding all of the details. And I mean, it was just amazing. Now I did use my fingers to blend the chalk, the layers of chalk. I found that that made the most smooth surface because this wasn't actually sidewalk. This was on the street and it was pretty rough. In fact, I ended up having a little bit of a callus on my finger once I was done. But the final result was beautiful. I got so much awesome feedback from all of the people from the festival that were walking around. Um, I got to meet awesome artists 
And we also got to take pictures with some of the famous uh, street artists that were there doing the 3D anamorphic art. Here are some of the designs from the other people that participated. This is some of the high school students that made a beautiful still life drawing of oranges. There was another artist close to me that did a floral design and it was just so cool to see everyone's different styles and techniques. Like I said, the artist next to me and Thrift, this was only like her second time using chalk and she did an outstanding job as well. So after I finished my design, I actually finished it by noon. So I finished a little bit early, thank goodness. Then we got to walk around and see all the other cool designs. We got to get something to eat and then go to the center for the arts to see some of the exhibits. All in all, it was an amazing day. I loved getting to take part in this event. And even if you don't have an art festival that is doing street art or chalk, a chalk walk, you could just go ahead and go outside, grab your chalk pastels and your chalk and try it for yourself because it really is a ton of fun.